Welcome back to Living Local TV. Every year, some 8 million pilgrims visit the tiny town of Lourdes, France, and recently we had a chance to experience the miraculous waters made famous by my patron saint, Saint Bernadette. It was our parents' 50th wedding anniversary, and their bucket list wish was to go on a Catholic tour to Lourdes and Fatima. So Rose and I happily escorted the two lovebirds from Hawaii. And as Pope Francis was arriving in New York for an historic papal visit, we were embarking on our own pilgrimage of a lifetime. First to Lisbon, then to Luz, and after 20 hours, 10,000 miles, and lots of rosaries, we made it safely to the foothills of the French Pyrenees Mountains. At last, we were in the sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes, home of the miraculous spring of healing waters discovered by Saint Bernadette. I've been to Rome, I've been to Assisi, and um, other places in, in Europe, and I had never felt this kind of peace. This thing happened 150 years ago, and people are still coming in droves. Lourdes is the second most important tourist destination in France, next to Paris. Its popularity dates back to 1858, when Mother Mary appeared 18 times to a poor peasant girl named Bernadette. It was in this sacred grotto that the beautiful lady showed her a secret underground fountain and told her to drink and wash in it. Since then, the water has been the source of countless miracles, healing the sick, the crippled, and even the blind. It is miraculous water, any way that you, any way that you look at it. And not to say that you're guaranteed to get a miracle here, but it was a, a sacred experience. I think the story of Bernadette and Lourdes is beautiful and I always loved seeing pictures of Lourdes and I always remember somebody gave us a bottle of Lourdes holy water um, in a Mother Mary bottle and I always remember that as a little kid so seeing the actual bottles and being able to fill the bottles ourselves, lots of bottles that we're bringing home for everyone, it was really amazing. Today, visitors can drink of that same pure spring water through a modernized tap system, and hundreds wait in line every day for a chance to bathe in the private cubicles. Since St. Bernadette's discovery, 7,000 medical miracles have been documented in the sanctuary. About 70 have been officially recognized by the Catholic Church, and still, many others continue to share their own personal stories of miraculous healing, mercy, and transformation at the Grotto of Masabiel. After dark, Lourdes becomes an entirely different experience as pilgrims make their way to a candlelight procession in honor of Ave Maria. Ave. so amazing to be there on the night of the super moon and being in the middle of a sea of lights was the perfect symbol of hope and healing. Our pilgrimage was more than just processions and prayer. After all, we were in France, so we had to have some real French fine grinding with champagne and escargot. We didn't want to say goodbye, so we simply said au revoir, knowing that the healing waters of Lourdes will continue to bring us hope and peace wherever we go. I cannot tell you how delicious and refreshing that water was flowing from those springs in Lourdes. We could not get enough of that water, right, Vern? Oh, and what did I bring back? See, there's so many bottles. The water is free, but you buy these bottles, and we filled up <laughs> at least a literally a lot. Yeah, a lot. We filled up a lot. It was like we would put one Mother Mary on the wall, two <laughs> Mother Marys on the wall. <laughs> but it was so because I felt so good drinking it. We felt good bathing mm
you guys were sending pictures from Facebook the whole time, so I was watching that trip as if I was there. So yes. I really love it. And St. Bernadette said you only need one drop anyway. Yeah. So this oh, little bottle okay. can go a long way. A long yes. way. It was an amazing experience. And we'll talk to our mom and dad about that, how they felt right after this. Stay with us. <laughs>